morning, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for our main event of the year. His professional record consists of 43 wins with 28 knockouts and 10 defeats. Fighting out of Atlanta, Bander, the Across the ring, by, by way of Brooklyn, Iron Mike Tyson. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about. It's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Evander Holyfield. Teddy of Prime Mike Tyson here has so many KO1s sprinkled across his record. Do you expect those kind of fireworks early on here? Yeah, for a couple reasons. He understands the history. He's a history student. He likes the legacy. He wants to be like Jack Dempsey, all those fighters of the past where he's ferocious. And also, he wants to send a signal to future opponents that you should not get in the ring with him. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big bang. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. Carries that punch away. Move your head! Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Holyfield with a big uppercut. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. This fight is way too close. Let's throw the one-two. Two is underway. Holyfield's got a little hop in his step as he's ready to start this round. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Evander Holyfield. Scored well up top. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Holyfield's combination punching, working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Yeah, that's it. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Holyfield with a block. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Evander Holyfield. What an excellent two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. A clean, big hook to the head by Evander Holyfield. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Good step back counterpunch there. A 
Evander Holyfield's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Tyson's right hand scores well. Scores up top with a left. Tyson's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. And we come to the end of round number two. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Holyfield with a huge left. Watch the hook. Come on. That is a strong uppercut there. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. A good hook by Evander Holyfield. Wow, Mike Tyson is really in tough shape here. On the precipice of having this fight stopped. Well, you've been the kind of guy that's on the other end of it, like Tyson, who's dishing out the punishment, dishing out the hurt. Yeah, he's used to being on this end of it. He only has a couple seconds to figure it out. Nice. He's still not moving enough. Come on, now move. Oh, and there you go. He is floored by a big uppercut. One, two. Evander Holyfield's back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Evander Holyfield. Well-placed hook. Able to bring the hook down low and just grabbing oh, no. on to his opponent. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight, but... They're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it takes discipline. And all of a sudden, it allows you a trail of excuses because now you can start to say, well, gee, you know, I didn't do this. You know, I, I, it's the drudgery of it, and it's the consistency of it. When you have to stay at a weight and you have to watch that weight, you have to balance it where you're also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where you're disciplined, you get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. And that's the end of round three. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. Tighten up your punches, all right? Well, start around number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard and get his insight. Holyfield's doing what happens to many who have been hurt. Now, he was stunned in this fight earlier, and you can see him almost wishing he could put a protective shell around himself. He's just all about the defense right now. Yeah, well, right now it's got to be all about him trying to be Tom Cruise. He's got to be an actor. He's got to look for an Academy Award and stop doing that. If we can see that, his opponent can see that. He has to count his opponent, not let him know that this is what he's feeling. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Mike Tyson, good use of the jab. There's the hook. How about that exchange? Tyson's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. 90 seconds to go in round number four. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Finish with the hook. Keep moving. Keep moving. Well done, Holyfield. Left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. And a punishing hook by Evander Holyfield. Block, block that. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on now. Uppercut. Uppercut. Well, I don't
don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holyfield still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you gotta do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't wanna go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. This has been a hotly contested war throughout. And you just have a sense that it's gonna end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for bloke right from the beginning. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never hey, expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. And bang, and away he goes. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Two, three, four, five. So the knockdown scored against Mike Tyson, but his opponent may want to watch out as Tyson has steadied himself back up on his feet. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Blocks the headshot. Scored well with the left downstairs. Holyfield's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Keep your distance. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Focusing. You're not focusing. Come on, man. Get out of there. Get out of there. Nice. Nice. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jam pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? You are winning this fight. Okay, okay, deep breath now, deep breath. Relax, relax. You all right? The start of the sixth round. A uh, Vander Holyfield's got to be thrilled with what he was able to accomplish in the first half of this fight. And as we start this round, clearly he wants to keep things in the same order. Well, part of the testing of anybody being successful in anything, in boxing, in anything, is how do you handle prosperity? We're going to find that out right now. I know that sounds like a good problem to have, but does he get carried away with himself? You know, does he get a little cocky? We're going to see. Defense, good block by Evander Holyfield. Holyfield blocks that punch. Unable to land clean by Evander Holyfield. Tyson's taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I could tell you where not to put it in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. He comes right back at him with the left hand. That's the hook. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. 
Gotta love the work by Evander Holyfield. Combos, combos. You can see he's trying. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Get your hands up. Working the body, keep working the body. He's tight, he's tight. Working our way Hold towards the bell. Speed. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. And that's the end of round six. Tyson's corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, he had to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around, where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit, where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring, where at least his good eye is in front. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Kenny, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit. Trying to throw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit. Disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Holyfield's clearly made a decision. He's not going to stick with what he was doing. You know, a lot of people would say, yeah, absolutely, change things up. You got rocked. Yeah, if you're a pitcher, you know, and the guy's hitting your fastball out of the park or coming close or hitting it on the warning track, you don't... Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three. Evander Holyfield's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, Evander the Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch, can a guy defend, you know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.